Hey, Angelo here with AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com. Uh, this video is super important for all Chicago owners, uh, clients, not clients, friends, families. Uh, you got to see this. Uh, I have been working on property taxes for a very, very long time, and the next bill is going to be unlike anything I've seen in the last 20 some odd years. It is going to be sickening, devastating, and completely honest, it's going to put a lot of people out of their house. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some. We're going to hit a street, Oakley, uh, 1300 block of Oakley. And I was poking around, looking at some customer homes, and uh, then I saw Oakley, and it was just crazy what I saw. Um, and it's all public record, which is great under freedom of information laws. So you can see what I see. And it's just kind of sickening. So uh, anyways, this is um, our website, appealunfairpropertytax.com. Uh, family owned, five stars everywhere, Facebook, Google, Yelp, A plus rating better business bureau. And if you're using a lawyer, let me show you what this would cost at a third or 50%, like my 1100 competitors still gouge for. Um, you're just gonna be sickened by what you see in this video and I'm gonna try to make this one of my shortest videos ever. Here we go. Uh, we are going to start on the Cook County Assessor's website and we are going to search by all the homes like a house in a neighborhood. So we're doing search by neighborhood, okay? The house that I was looking at was in West Township. This is not alphabetical, it looks like it is and then you'll see towards the bottom, you know, it's Wheeling and then it's HJK Elegant and then West is at the very bottom. I'm looking at West Township. When you click this, a little hourglass runs around on the end of the box there. Then you'll get the second choice. I'm in neighborhood 60 that I'm looking at. And then I'm gonna choose the property class. All homes go into 15 different property classes based on age, size, and design. And um, basically the higher it goes, the worse the property taxes get. So the smallest is a 202, the most common is a 203, 1,000 to 1,800 feet, and so on. Um, our flat fee is good for single family homes all the way up to six unit apartment buildings, uh, 211. Even some mixed use, the little storefront with a couple apartments above, if it's a 212, we can, we can do that under our flat fee also. So um, a lot of people charge the commercial rate for that, we don't. Um, if it starts with a three or a five, that is truly commercial and that is not covered under our flat fee. Um, we do do commercial appeals. Um, you can see that on our website too, but there is a percentage for that. But uh, yes, for 10 years, we were charging a low flat fee. We did not raise our prices for 10 years until just recently, and they only went up a fraction. We'll get to that in a bit. But anyways, we're looking at class 206, two or more story residents over 62 years, 2,200 feet to 4,999. Got to prove that I'm not a robot for the 100th time today. Click search. And this is one of the rules. You got to match these things, you know, when you're trying to find evidence to lower your property taxes. In Cook County, you can fight your property taxes. There's two agencies each year. Uh, the first is the assessor. Uh, the second is the Board of Review. They're back on the board there behind me. Can't really see it, but trust me, they're there. Um, it's a 30-day window to get in. Uh, the assessor opens first, and four to six months later, it's the Board of Review um, that can overrule the first. Um, if the first gives you a partial, the Board of Review can give you more, um, or vice versa. Um, the assessor can say yes, and then the board can say, ah, oh, that's good enough, um, et cetera. You can win it both, and um, you do nothing, you get nothing. So anyways, here come all these homes, and over here to the far right, you will just see assessed value. Now, assessed value is a tricky little number. It's 10% of the value on the tax bill. So if you put an imaginary zero behind all of these, it's the value that's going to be on the bill. So this 125,000 becomes 1,250,000. And then I see the one below it is almost half. Now some homes have two PIN numbers, but the address is the same. You know, it would be 1336 Oakley and 1336 Oakley. It's not, the address changes here. It is a different house. So I'm like, wow, okay, 2,600 feet, 2,300 feet, about 300 feet slower, uh, lower, but almost like, I mean, that's, that's a huge difference. 810,000 to a million 250. That's like 25%. And that's not 25% in square footage. Like, I mean, that's so something I was like, and I just go down the street looking a little, here's another one at 790,000. Here's one at 1,400,000. Okay. 
2,666 feet. Don't know if you're religious or believe in omens. My mom would say, I rebuke you, Satan. And this house, 1355 North Oakley, sure seems like it has the... Well, it's actually blessed. It's the low one. It's 790. The neighbor, 2,500 square feet, smaller, 150 feet smaller, is at a million four hundred. Insane. So, like, crazy. Anyways, me being the curious cat that I am, I pulled up a spreadsheet and I typed them all in. Oh, I went to the next website, cookcountypropertyinfo.com, and this is where you should start to get, you know, because you probably don't know your PIN number. If you have it around, great. But um, you can search by your address, and then it'll bring you a little blue link with your PIN number. You click on that, and it will open up this detailed page, okay? Uh, again, all property taxes are public record. I know it looks like we're being in his private business, Stephen Cassidy. Um, not a customer, but you definitely should be. Um, down here on the bottom left, you will see a five-year history of taxes paid, okay? Now, the top payment is about half because that is the most recent bill. There's only been one bill for 2021. One usually comes in March and one usually comes in July. The July bill has been significantly delayed because the agencies that make the decisions have been backlogged and short on staff and you know, a skeleton crew due to COVID, they're playing catch up. And it's a good thing. That means they're actually going slow and reading them. Uh, when they go fast, the results become more horrible. But um, the treasurer has to wait for them to finish up to know what to print on the bills. We are now in November. Today is Sunday, November 7th. My competition is out on the golf course or, uh, well, not on the golf course, but uh, they're in the cigar lounge, smoking it up with their big fat fingers because um, they can afford to buy Cuban cigars when they gouge for 30 to 50%. That's the way I like to think of them. Um, anyways, this house, its last full year, both bills, March and July together, was 10307 Now, that was 2020, okay? Both those bills are out for that year. Now, if we go over here to the top right, you will see the current assessed value, 2021, and you'll see that million, it's been, is it a million 250? But if you click this little blue link right below, assessed value history, you can see five years and you can see what it was prior. In 2020, this is AV again, it's 10%. You got to put a little imaginary zero behind here and you'll know the value on the bill. 49,000 becomes 493,000. So in 2020, he had a 493,000 and that had his property taxes at 10,307. Now here's the problem. And this is happening all over the place in Chicago, the two flats, three flats especially. I saw 60 to 128% everywhere, a lot of places. Um, he is no longer at 493. He is now at a million 250. That's a 153% increase. Insane, okay? So now what you can do is we have a tool on our website where you can take the difference between the old AV and the new AV and you throw it into an increase calculator on our website. So let's just do that math real quick. Um, here's the AV. They took off a zero just above the million. So 125,000. Let me get a calculator up here. 125,000 minus the old AV, 49, 49,370. Okay? Same thing you do on your house, and you'll be able to figure out minus 49,370. That's how much it's going up. You're going to take that 75,630 to our website. But before you go off this page, copy your PIN number. We need your PIN number on our website, not because we're going to solicit you. We don't do any of that information. We have access to all of it anyway. But it's a tax rate in your neighborhood to get the best estimate into dollars. Now, on our website, appealunfairpropertytax.com. Again, it's appealunfairpropertytax.com. You're going to go to the more button on the navigation and scroll down to I want to calculate my increase. You'll also see there's a wind calculator. Um, let me make this a little bigger for you. When you get a reduction letter, you can go see how much it means in dollars. Okay. Um, we're going to click the increase calculator and we're going to scroll down and there's two boxes. The first one is for your pin number. You can paste it right in there. The second box is for the number on the calculator, 75630. Watch this, this is insane. Click the calculate button. This house is going up per year, going up $16,848, okay? 
insane. Now remember, here's where the shockwave comes in. He was already at 10,000. So we do on the calculator, 10,307 plus the 16,848 This house is now going to 27,155 a year. That's insane. Now here's where the bigger headache comes in. Remember the top number here. There's only been a little bit of 2021 taken. Every year, two bills. First is March, second is July. Whenever you get the blue one and the yellow one, you add them together and you can predict the March bill. It's 55% of the year before. So this 55, uh, 5,600 is 55% of this 10,003. If his new taxes are 27,155 and the first payment was only 5,600, that means, let's subtract it, minus 5,668. The second installment coming any day now by itself will be $21,487. And if that doesn't make you crap your pants, I'm pretty sure it's going to make Stephen Cassidy crap his pants. Um, now, when the mortgage writes a check for that amount, <laughs> what the banks do, most of them, remember that was $16,000 more a year, $16,848 a year, that it went up, that the escrow is not prepared for, they divide it by 12 months. It's going to raise the mortgage $1,400 a month. I don't know how many of you can afford that. I don't know if Stephen Cassidy can, but I know for sure that most of my clients could not. Now, if you have a two flat, three flat, this is actually a single family home. Let's say you got three apartments in there, you know, divide that by three to get the rent. Can you raise your rent $468? I know my customers can't. You might raise it $20, $30 if you're lucky uh, with resistance, you know, but so, you know, hey, buy a two flat, quit your job, you know, be a landlord, and it's not gonna happen. I'm telling you, Chicago is on the fast track to becoming a Detroit. I hope you found this video shocking, appalling. It's not a typo. Um, I'm a curious cat, so what I did is I went down the whole darn street, just corner to corner, and I did a little spreadsheet. And there was actually two homes that got that 16,000 um, plus. This one, bling, 16,460, and the one we just looked at, 16,848. And I just wanted to see corner to corner, one street, how much the county is gonna get more than the year before, $108,000. That is one side of one street, okay? And um, looking at it on Google Maps, it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, where's that house? Oh, and I'll tell you which one was the other one that, since we got this up here, I don't have the addresses, I just have the PIN numbers here. 15, 115005, 115005, 115005. Well, it's all, 115005. All public record. This is what it looks like, Cook County Property Info. This is where you would start with your address. Just your street, you know, number, I'm sorry, the number goes on top, the name goes in the second box, okay, in your city. Don't worry about zip code, don't put street, you know, don't put avenue, just the number and the street name in the city and click search. Um, let me just show you this one real quick if I can before 15, heck, Aha, where's my spreadsheet? 1706-115, uh, 1706-115-005, I think it was. Yes, okay, let's see if it works. <laughs> this, website's been, this website's been horrible all day. 1706-115, 1706-115-005. You're getting a perfect demonstration of tax dollars at work. That was 1350 Oakley, John Lape. Okay, you can look down here, see there's no senior exemptions, nothing. You know, $11,000. Now he's going up 16.2. He's going to 27, $28,000. Uh, a year. That's insane. Just insane. Uh, I feel so bad for these people, man. Uh, nice. Looks like a gray stone. Really, really sad. Um, but yeah, call your mother. 
Tell her you love her. Praying for all my customers. Um, oh, I know what I was going to show you. Yeah. So on a map, Google Maps, uh, that address, you know, just to give you an idea uh, how much money it's, it's, that's one block. Let's see here. Let's go to, um, let's go to satellite view if we can. I think we can. Maybe I just got to hold still for a second. Um, there it is, layers, satellite, okay? So that money, that $108,000, okay? <laughs> Where'd it go? I lost it now. <laughs> Where are you, Oakley? Okay, interesting. That was just one corner, you know, to one corner, you know, like from, from there to there. Oh, there's Oakley. Oh, I saw it. Okay. All right. This is that strip. Okay. looks like there's a park at the end of the street. Oh, actually. Oh, wow. Check this out. Okay. So this is interesting. See, like I said, I'm curious. Uh, Oakley has a parking lot taking up about the last 20% of the street. It doesn't have as many houses as the, you know, the next one. I'll try to put it right above me so you can see. Okay, straight above my... <laughs> Trying to get that little pin right there. Okay. So this is Oakley right at the corner of me. I gotta, my map is all right there. There's a big parking lot right there. So the rest of the house is just above the parking lot. 108,000 more per year. So the other house, the other blocks have about seven or eight more homes, maybe 120,000, 25,000. One side of one street. That means both sides, 250 more per year, corner to corner. Don't forget, it's a three-year cycle. So that means corner to corner, 250 times three, $750,000. You and all your neighbors from one corner to the next corner, both sides of the street. And when you zoom out on Google Maps, this will make you sick. I mean, multiply that money <laughs> times 35 freaking miles, you know, uh, what is Cook, Cook County, you know? I mean, it's, it's crazy. That's just, it's ridiculous. It's really, really, really sad. So anyways, um, there's a tattoo place that popped up. High five. Yeah, let me close that. Um, all the way west of Barrington, all the way south to Calumet, all the way north to Winneka Evanston. Um, if your house is in that area, we'd love to have you. All right. Thank you for the time you spent. Um, I know it's a, like kind of going to the dentist, you know, talking about property taxes. But um, if you don't go get your cavity fixed, you're going to be paying for a root canal or dentures. Okay. So i <laughs> uh, love to have you guys on our website. Again, sign me up page. Um, homepage. There's a free evaluation. If you see that you're already getting killed, please save us the evaluation. Just hit the sign me up page. Um, you'll see right on our homepage. Um, they're there also. We have a premium package where we can file at the first agency for you uh, for a $99 markup per year. But um, the three-year package is the most popular. It'll save you 48%. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you guys in a bit.